you can hear you yes yes okay so myself rashekar i have 12 plus years of experience uh, in android uh, development means like not only am i a trainer i am working as a real time professional so today we will concentrate a little bit on uh, android workshop like what is android what how this can be help on our uh, now uh, real time so that we will see with some examples so like this is main and uh, very important here so first of all just want to see that what is android like anyone so simple like a simple example i'll tell you with the simple four words just you can form the android definition so that can be help that can be fine so that this is c android is an operating system so it is an open source and it is using for the development environment so this in this uh, each word we will discuss in detail so and it will run on the top of the linux kernel so this four words will form the definition of the android so like android operating system operating system is nothing but it's a very like the in our uh, desktop and laptops how we are using our like windows linux mac so like similar it is a platform for the mobile applications not only mobiles nowadays it is for a lot of uh, other uh, electronic gadgets we are using like the mobile tab tv auto watch like many electronic gadgets we are using nowadays this so it is a operating system operating system is nothing but it's a bridge between the hardware and software right so it is a it can create the bridge between hardware components and software that we can say has the operating system right the next is the open source so what is open source open source is nothing but it's a freely available so what freely available so here i can justify with the three different uh, test cases so the first case is uh, it's a freely available for it's a freely available for like you are end user so you are end user means who are using our android devices we all are the end users for us it is a for us it is very oh like 99% of the applications are available with free of cost right so that is for us it is a free of cost then next if i go with the manufacturer means mobile manufacturer so for the mobile manufacturer means like the nowadays uh, vivo oppo samsung so like many uh, mobile manufacturer are there right so for them for all of them it is completely available as a free operating system because uh, everyone can customize their operating system right so for example if uh, today i buy one mobile with the android uh, with the android 12 with 8 gb ram like etc features same you buy with the uh, same but i buy it samsung you buy it vivo so both mobiles are looking wise different in a internal like because the vivo has customized their operating system and also same time samsung has also customized their operating system so because of this is the reasons it is a really because of the open source only they are able to do that kind of operations here so that we can say that is a open source it can be available here users can uh, do that kind of operation next is the as a developer so for example if you are a developer if you are a developer also easily you can upgrade that I means so like uh, without uh, doing without paying anything to the environment so you can manage everything like a free, with free of cost you can manage all the things so that is uh, about the development means if it is open source because of the open source so three types of people are getting the different uh, users so that is like here uh, this is a uh, three people are getting the different users this like this is next is the development environment so using this we can build the applications also so that's the reason it is a easily we can manage with the development environment so easily we can uh, develop the applications not only the applications in android there are uh, three different types of developments as there one is the mobile app development so we can do mobile app development other is a game game development the next level which is the os level development so the os level development is happen with the um, manufacturers also google like mobile uh, development 
even a small small company even freelancers also lot of people are uh, using this uh, basic application development and game development is happening only with the some of the mnc companies it is happening this and the last it is the linux kernel so the linux kernel is nothing but it's a linux kernel is very simple like it is a uh, like a, how we can say it is a using hardware components like it is a android operating system itself like architecture level it is should be it is dependent because it's a linux based operating system so because of that it is nothing on the uh, uh, top of the linux kernel so that how that linux kernel is dependent on that that we will discuss in detail of the while we are discussing the architecture that we will discuss in detail of this so that is a linux kernel related next here so we will see the next step so the next step is here now so that is here so operating system is done so like uh, here we can see some of the features like the operated features we will see in an operating system so that is like in a android there are various features as there so some of the top rated features are here like uh, it is a storage wise uh, connectivity wise messaging wise like it is a just uh, generalized features so for the generalized feature for the different uh, aspects so that is a uh, storage wise so it is a uh, here uh, internally like uh, we are nowadays we are using many applications as a like a uh, offline and online right that is a whatsapp facebook gmail so that even that once you are logging into the application so here it is a uh, really like easily we are using without uh, uh, updating anything like that right because here we are using the very lightweight relational database that is a sqlite database we are using that sqlite database is the very lightweight database because of that we are able to do lot of operations on this with easy of this and the next is the connectivity so android supports the connectivity like the various technologies like uh, nowadays we can connect with the gsm cdma bluetooth wi-fi connect uh, for uh, uh, like gps uh, this all the things 3g 4g 5g whatever the available all this it can connect it is a very simple so that's the reason it is a very famous in the market now and also it can support for the multiple languages like uh, nowadays like we can use uh, uh means i can uh, message in uh, my local language so i can uh, receive uh, a message in my local language like it will support the localization of the languages it can support also using this easily we can uh, send sms mms kind of thing like you now at whatsapp we are sending multimedia message like video message audio message except text message we are sending like so those all are the comes under examples of this right then next is the web browser so e here uh, if you want to develop on a browser so that is very simple you can use the browser so because uh, here uh, the web kit is available so that using that web kit easily you can uh, build your own browser easily you can build your browser if you are a developer like it is a java supported also kotlin supported look java supported means whatever the java features all the java features entire features like uh, 18 to 20 java features whatever the features are there all the features it can be supported here it's similar like it is a kotlin based so even whatever the features are available in a kotlin like 15 to 20 that total it will support because of that it's bit better because both java as well as a kotlin both are the platform independent so because of the platform independency here a lot of these features are easily we can manage this. so that is a main advantage of this here right the next is a media support so it can support for all type of medias like uh, there is no restriction but if you go with ios there is a restriction it can support only for itunes like that kind of restriction as there but here it is no restriction so it can support whatever the all the features are available it can support all the features here so that can be like uh, mp3 mp4 jpeg jpg pmb whatever the image formats whatever the audio and video format it can support all the formats here and here we can uh, use the live streaming also like live streaming so where users can support like uh, now we can able to see the uh, video channel the right videos like live videos means uh, you news channels live channels and also live calling video calling so that that kind of all the features it can support this and also here it is using nowadays a lot of uh, animations gestures animations that will become around hardware support 
So a lot of hardware support it is working. Then next is that it is a multi-touch. So users can use the multi-touch here. So using this multi-touch easily we can manage with this. And it is a Bluetooth connectivity. So nowadays the Bluetooth connectivity is a main and important thing because uh, nowadays a lot of devices we are connecting with the IoT. So because of the IoT here, the this is very important here nowadays. So using this users, they can uh, easily do that uh, this. And also I already I told the video calling so it, a user can do at a time multitasking. So the multitasking users can do here. Now next is the just a minute. So now next is the multitasking. We can do users can do multitasking. So users can do multitasking and external storage. Like in iOS, only whatever the internal storage they given, users can use only that. But here we can go with the external storage also. We can use this. Right. This is the uh, like the basic features. So in Android, there are uh, many versions are available. Like uh, because uh, uh, day by day they are introducing the a lot of features. Because of the day by day features, so the, so many versions have introduced in this version. Like the basic version, there is no code names. But from the cupcake onwards, there is a each version has that is a, like a cup means basic versions has released in a 2008 Android first version has released in a market that is a in a 2008. And after that, uh, then the 2009 also next version has released, but both are not as operating system. Those all are the basic application level it is introduced. After that, from uh, Cupcake, that is uh, to April 2009, that is, re that is released as operating system. From there onwards, it is released as a operating system. So in uh, September, Donut, Eclair, Proyo, Gingerbread, Honeycomb, Ice cream sandwich, jelly beans, Kit Kat, lollipop, and marshmallow, nugget, and uh, Oreo, pie, Android 10, Android 11. These all are that does not have the versions like this. Many versions has released in a market. So here each version, so each version has sometimes some of the versions has a two to three versions. Let's see, Eclair 2.0 and 2.1, which two versions has released in a lesser gap, very lesser gap, few days, two to three days gap. Because of the missing features, immediately they release some of the new features like that. See, each version has a version level and it has one API level also. So what is API level? API level is nothing but it's a API is nothing but here it is a very useful like uh, each version has API means application program interface. Like whatever the features it is supporting, so that features can be available on the particular that version. So that version features, it can be easily supporting that. So if you want to develop, like for example, I'm I want to develop an Android uh, 14 version. So only Android 14 related APIs, if you are downloaded in your system, it is fine. No need to download all these versions. So if you download, if you download only one version, so that can be enough to do this. Like this kind of like lot of features as there. Like means each version. And version wise, lot of features are there. Even that features also very important as a developer because when you want to develop an application, so if you miss, like if you some um, uh, like end customer says that, okay, this feature is not supporting in my mobile. So then immediately you can say that, okay, this is the Android 12. So this feature is not supported Android 12. So for that, this is the alternate feature. Like if you want this feature, you can use like this. Or even while discussion about that with the customer also, like before developing that also, you can discuss. If you say that I want this version like this. So, okay, this version is not possible like this because of this is. So you can use alternate like this. You can explain then and there itself with the customer. Because of that, each version and version wise features are very important here. And Android 14, that is recently released two months back, just two months back, October 4th, it is released. So that is uh, having the versions so that also we can discuss in this. So this is the architecture. Like just now I told about the their Linux kernel. It is dependent on Linux kernel, right? So it is an architecture. So in this Android architecture, mainly it is dependent on many things here. Like because here uh, now previously this architecture has the only four layers. Now it is split into the five layers. So previously, 
that uh, last from the last two this is uh, hardware uh, ups, uh, linux kernel and hardware abstraction layer previously both are the same but now that both has uh, splitted in uh, splitted into the two because why i'll come with this so from top if, if you see it's from the top so from the top first one which is uh, like system apps so system apps is nothing but it is uh, like uh, so whatever the uh, features we install in our mobile so that comes into system apps like uh, i have installed the caller application i have installed message email calendar camera so these all are the applications we install so that we can say has the system applications then after that uh, there is a api so java api or the kotlin api so in case if it is a java related application it could come with a java if it is a kotlin related everything will come in this so in this two versions like here it is a java related or api related this group will support the api framework so on that see here the sec this portion will contains the managers so what is managers manager means general uh, meaning of the manager means it can be manage something so it can manage something means it is managing so here like a uh, each application it has a multiple activities right so it has a multiple activities activity is nothing but a page so one was one app like uh, even you can take camera so camera has a multiple uis multiple uis means camera has uh, one uh, image capture one video capture one so like uh, from there it goes to the already captured image like this has the three to four pages right like that each and every application like uh, as for my knowledge except this uh, uh, now this is uh, like um, uh, basic uh, calculator basic calculator has a single page except that majority of the applications all whatever we install in our phones that contains more than one page right so like that kind of all the activities all the pages can be handled by this activity manager so that activity each activity it has a own life cycle and each life cycle can handle multiple things so that that is a knowledge also like when you are a developer we need that activity life cycle manager also it is very important because even that is a very important question for the interview point of view so that is very important the next is a location nowadays even location also we are using in a multiple places so multiple places we are using the location that location also it's a very important that the user has to know about the location things and package package means here like we have using the multiple uh, files so the multiple files together uh, we can say has a, that is a package so that we are using the package manager and the next is the notifications so notifications also here very important here for the user because uh if you install whatsapp flipkart whatsapp so each and every application has we are getting the notifications right we are getting the notifications like uh, uh this is for uh, this this is for like this right uh, uh today offers for the shoes tomorrow offers for the chapel day after tomorrow offers for the something else like that we are getting the many things so that is handled by this notifications and resources like here all of the resources we are accessing from the operating system like uh because this specifically this is the application whatever the application we install we are specifically using in a single environment that is android environment right so and android environment whatever we are using so that can be here very really useful resource management we can use that we are using this resource management here next is the telephony manager so this telephony manager is also very important like here uh, that we are using in a many places telephony manager uh well this can be handled with the call message so this kind of uh, things it can be handled that is in next windows like at a time multiple tasks when you are doing the multiple tasks the window manager can handle the both of things so that we are doing here this next is the ne here content provider content provider means it is like uh, in that word itself it is their content provider it is providing the content to the applications like for example a uh, simple example for this is a whatsapp and uh, contacts so we are saving the contacts in our contacts like i'm saving your name is xyz in my contacts but same name i can be accessible in a content uh, means in a whatsapp because of the content provider it is fetching the data from this application to that application so that we can say has the content like it is managing the content from the two different applications that is a content provider can manage right 
So the next is the view system. So it is for all application, it requires the view to see the view. It's a basic view is required. So that view is created here. That is a view is creating here, this, right? Next is the, next one is that is a next layer, second layer that is a, sorry, third layer. It is a next, that is a native C and C++ library. So this native C and C++ library, it can be like a, very important for this, like because Android operating system has developed by the C and C++ library. So whatever here it is showing the basic, but like this, there are various uh, numerous uh, different kinds of uh, libraries are available. So those are libraries here we can uh, using this web kit, we can easily manage now this. So you miss these all are the help for to developers to develop the applications like this is already the framework is available on top of the framework we used to work on that and we used to get the lot of things that is so that is the native c and c++ libraries are available here this and the next one in this the next to second part of this is that is a, a runtime environment so user has to set up this runtime environment like when you are running your application this runtime environment can create the whatever the files you are writing that converted into the core libraries then it will provide the information to the user and it will generate the output files to the users next is the hardware abstraction layer so the hardware abstraction layer is nothing but here users can has like a, a, now why this is previously it was both are the same but it was printed into two here because nowadays the mobiles also not only mobiles in other various applications also using this because of that it is a uh, generating a uh, lot of hardware abstractions so that is a different uh, user that is creating here. That is a reason. Hardware, it is hardware is uh, audio, video, whatever the hardware components are there. Then next is the, like, these are other like related to drivers. Like previously, nowadays, when we are installing the operating system, we are not installing any drivers. But in older days, when we install the operating system, so we are one by one, we are installing the drivers, right? Nowadays, because of the, uh, OS level, I mean, so it is uh, in operating system level itself, the people are providing this. Because of that, we are not installing, right? So that is a similar here. It is a, here we are not giving this so users to this. So that's the reason. Now it is a, here this operation, it automatically it will come. Automatically like a higher audio driver, a keyboard driver, shared, shared memory, uh, so binder IPC, Bluetooth, like many, this a lot of the many things it is coming this. So that is like here you USB. So this is like, so for example, as a user, I want to open the camera application. How this process will come, I'll explain you see here. When as a user, I click on camera here, right? When I click on camera here, so that from the camera, it comes to the request to hear this, it require one activity here, it will come. So this required one view, it will come here. So for this media framework support is required, then it will come here. Then for this camera hardware is required, it will come here. Then for this camera driver is required. So then it all the request one, two, three, four, five, six. This six will come here and binder IPC will combine all the requests and that can send the data to the end user. Like it will interact directly from the binder IPC means whatever from step one, step two, step three, like it will come step one, step two, step three, like enough in some of the layers, I mean, some of the first layer, second layer, like the it is layers, right? And some of the layers, maybe it is uh, sometimes, it may be one layer, I um, mean, one, uh, one time it will, are in the same layer also multiple, like here, in this layer, it is required to, it is required the activity, it is required the view. Like in this also, sometimes maybe it will interact with the two libraries, at one library, like it will come finally, all that together, it will come to binder IPC, then it will combine to the user. That is the process, it will happen here. This so then next year, so it will combine this hardware here, right? So after this is uh, architecture, if you know our architecture, then so there are uh, la components of Android has there, like these are the components. So these four components are very, very important for the Android. If you know about these components, easily you can manage with your uh, development this because without these four components, you cannot create any application in Android. Android. So the first one, which is here, that is the activities. 
so activities is nothing but activities means activity will provide the single page like it is a page so it can provide the page to the users like uh, each page each page we can define as an activity i mean with without in without an activity there is no android application because each act each activity known as the one uh, means each application at least it contain at least one page so that's the reason at least one activity is required for the application so that is the activity so that actually like uh, it has a life cycle also like because what is the life cycle when i open first time so it is uh, working some different way when i go back to the, when i went to the second page and then back to the first page and it will work in different way like when i went to the uh, wow like um, i got a one call in between while i'm watching the video so why i got a call then it will work in different way like all the different cases of involved in this uh, like those all the cases you should very important because like for example you see uh, when you are watching video in uh, youtube suddenly my network goes so it will say it, it says immediately you are in offline so again when you click on you back to the main activity then it will says that uh, you are the important this is a uh, this you can come this so are you going to learn below points as well jetpack component compose kmm so in a my regular course i'm covering the jetpack and uh, mvvm architecture this compose and all as of now i not uh, uh here in our class means in a class it's not i i not uh, explain as of now but anyone if you want that kind of like because if this is a uh, completely the advanced things if you people are interested like uh, in a regular course i'll uh, explain in one one session for this that is no problem for me because i know already we are using some projects if that is but in uh, depends on the batch if it is a fresher kind of people are there so they can uh, get the problem. So I'm from non-IT background. Can I learn? Yes, yes, you can learn Srinivasan. No problem on that. But uh, just you need to work out on a little bit more time compared to other people. So like who knows, knows the little bit coding, for them it is little bit easy. But initially you need to spend a little bit more time so that you can you can gain that. Right. Okay. So, like, next is the services. So, the services is nothing but here, like, this is the background process. So, like, I click on movie download and I'm doing my other activities after uh, one hour. I, if I see that is a uh, uh, download is completed, right? So, that kind of background process it can be handled here. Also, like, I set an alarm. So that alarm kind of thing, it will work. This is next is the broadcast receiver. This broadcast receiver is nothing but it's a system level announcements like uh, battery low, Bluetooth available, Wi-Fi available. So such kind of things, it will give the alerts. So that is the broadcast receivers will give the alerts here. This next is the content providers. So the content providers is nothing but it's a uh, like uh, just now we discussed WhatsApp. So WhatsApp is an example for this. So it is sharing the contacts from the different people, different applications, right? So it is an example for this content provider, right? So the next year, this is the main and important. This is the web services. As a developer, you must know about these web services. Without this web services knowledge, we cannot survive in a market. So because uh, if you, as a basic uh, developer, so means so basic, uh, if you want to do the static application development, so you won't get the job anyway. If you want to get a job, must you need to know about the this web services. Like it is a async task means a year. Web services means it is a communication with the server. Like Flipkart, Amazon. So like because here I can able to view the stock, I can able to add that and uh, I can receive that, uh, right? That product, update everything. So that it can be happen here, this is so. Here, normally, these web services can be handled with the different cases, like different people has had handling the different uh, cases. So that how the different cases here, 
so that we can see here because some of the people are using this is uh, with the uh, uh, async task some of the people are using with this uh, retrofit and some of the people are using the volley so in my regular sessions i'll cover these other things like different different other things i'll cover this right so the next here next and important here this is the fragments so this fragments is also very very important this is so because uh, that is a uh, uh, reasonability of the layouts so because if my application has 100 pages if i develop 100 pages so if a user as a user if i have i have 100 physical pages in my application so that is very problematic to handle the other cases of this because uh, once it is a more pages more number of pages obviously application became slow so to avoid that here we are uh, using this concept called fragments so if you use this fragments easily we can reuse the layouts like for example i designed a forgot password page so, but that forgot password page, I want to use in a different cases. So, all the different cases, it can be handled, that can be easily user can manage with that. So, that concept called here, fragmentation. So, reusability of the layout. So, that reusability of like, even if you, nowadays, if you open the phone pay, Flipkart, Amazon, any shopping cart application, if you use, that all will contain this concept only, fragmentation only. Because of the reusability of the layouts, easily easily they can manage with the reusability. So that here detail in detail, we will discuss in a regular session that is. So the next is the material design. So this material design is also nowadays main and important. So this material design has introduced by the Google. So this is a main and important thing for the users to handle this uh, UI. Because as a user, like for example, as a developer, I, I developed one application, I uploaded in a Play Store without using the any uh, design aspects, just I use the basic design. So whenever I, I functionalities are working 100%, but some, some what happens here, users cannot show interest on this because your app is not attractive. So even some of the functionalities is not working properly also, but your app is an attractive, then obviously the users can, obviously the users can uh, take your application and they can install that. Because of that is the reason nowadays this uh, uh, material design is very important. This is not only for the Android. Nowadays, this material design is using for Android, iOS, even uh, web development also. Like all the UIs nowadays is coming with the material design only. So that is very important here for the material design that we are using this here now. Next, Firebase. So even this Firebase is also like main and important thing here for the uh, users as a developer. So because uh, I want to send a notification, like whatever the notifications we are receiving, even if it is a WhatsApp notification, Facebook notification, Gmail notification, all are working nowadays with Firebase. That too, that notification has free of cost, but you can go outside also. But outside, if you go with the uh, Twilio, will provide other lot of APIs or they, they will provide, but those are not the paid. So this is not a paid, it is completely the free of cost. So because of the free of cost, uh, so users are using here this uh, Firebase only. Like not only that, Firebase, using the Firebase, you can uh, build a charting kind of application or using this, uh, you can build a, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, my application has uh, uh, crashed. That means I, I develop one application, I upload in a Play Store. I don't know who installed my application, but suddenly my application has crashed somewhere. So that as a user, you want to, you cannot know until they send the, uh, this, okay, this is a crash like this, they, until they explain. But now what happens? If I you I enable the Firebase crash analytics, I can know directly, okay, this application has crashed because of this like reason. We can know the reasons here easily. So as a developer, I can get the mail. So so and so like Samsung, uh, Android 13. So they use, they click on this. 
now this is uh, not working like that uh, we can get the information that so that is a main and important this easily this is also very important that very important next is the sqlite even nowadays this sqlite is also uh, main and uh, main uh, because uh, but this is mainly for social media applications for social media applications even if you your network is not there also up to certain level uh, you can access the data even you can comment like in whatsapp also i can send a message like hi hello good morning i can send but it can save locally whenever the internet has connected then that sent to the other thought what other party people like right so that all the people are using this sqlite concept only so that sqlite because of this is the reason this sqlite also came nowadays very important here this next is the google maps so as a user so whenever you want to um, use like the nowadays uh, this uh, amazon delivery flipkart delivery or uh, food delivery so like uh, ola uber so these all kind of people are using this google maps and the navigations i want to know some address i want to know the distance like many cases they are using this so that is the reason this google maps also very very important here and after that how you need to upload the application in a play store right so if you want to upload a play store uh, application in a play store so that is also very important here so that is a main role because uh, these days lot of applications are uh, coming with the different people like uh, a lot of applications are dummy applications also installed uh, these last four or five years that's the reason lot of restrictions has came in this so to avoid that restriction you need to learn about this because uh, data man manipulations like a lot of things uh, like small financial loans applications so to overcome that kind of application it is asking a lot of conditions so that as a user you must know about that then after that if you want to uh, enable the ads for your application so that ads also easily you can uh, get the ads so how you need to earn that so that knowledge also i can provide the knowledge also like so then after that uh, code where the code has uh, saved like um, same project multiple people are working so where your code is saving so that how you can manage so that all the things we can learn in this git repositories so this uh, i supposed to cover in uh, this uh, so you have any questions just you can ask me i'll uh, answer your queries so anyone have any questions hello brichoker shirpad in watson yes someone So does this course app licensing process more monetary ideas does don't for legal terms? Yes, uh, this I I explained Srinivasan in uh, while you are uploading the application that that I'll I'll cover there. What are the all topics you covered in this course? So let uh, let me open the course content just quickly. We can go through that. So I think you are able to see my screen, right? So this is the course content. So with Android 14, we are discussing here. So that is a introduction of Android, then architecture. So setup, first program. So XML. So this XML is also new to people. XML and basic uh, Android uh, user interface. Next is the dynamic layouts and uh, bottom components text fields, advanced user interfaces, like uh, uh, we can discuss about the list view, grid view and all, and components of the Android. Then after multimedia, how to deal with the medias. Then IMEA number, how to deal with IMEA number, SMS, because sometimes IMEA number is also important. Then Wi-Fi manager, phone status, Bluetooth. Next is the dialogues. So services, this, they just come under into this. And the content provider. After that, web services, just now I told the web services, different types of web services that we'll discuss, and data binding. 
so the data binding is a real time concept i am going with the complete course with the data binding then after the fragments sqlite so then retrofit uh, this is a material design firebase google maps and google places animations then how to create a ads and what is the play store how we can update how to manage that and some of the other things like just now we discussed about the uh, other extra libraries whatever that libraries that it depends on the people mentality i'll uh, explain that the things like this is uh, what sirpa said that is a uh, jetpack component to compose this this in this some of the things i'll uh, i'll no problem just i'm copying this so if you people are uh, advanced little you can understand advanced concepts we will discuss on this no worries on that no problem because i'm already using the this maybe it will take uh, extra four to five days that is no problem for me to explain those concepts right any other questions from anyone one new question so what is this question so my question is which advanced topics you are not covered okay in this uh, whatever you are expecting right so as of now i not uh, discussed with anyone like uh, some of the batches i discussed the uh, jetpack component compose and mvvm clean architecture this four i discussed kmm and ktor or oh, this i not discussed with any batch like if you want that i can uh, elaborate no problem in one or two sessions i will explain that about that because i know actually that concept but that depends on the people's mentality, whatever the batch, that a little bit advanced topics will vary. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, yes Yeah, uh, good morning. Uh, actually, uh, I'm having uh, experience in Android development. So uh, I was looking for the uh, advanced topics. Currently, uh -huh. I'm uh, uh, switched to some other technology. So uh, uh recently i'm not working on the android since last two to three years so but okay. uh, i'm very well aware about the uh basic android uh, okay. application development and everything mm -hmm. uh, actually i'm looking for the advanced topics only so is okay. there any specific batch uh, no uh, no specific batch for like that only for mm -hmm. the advanced topics but in this batch itself uh whatever you explain, right? That concept I'll cover, no problem on that. But there is no specific batch for only advanced topics. Okay. Okay, okay. sure. Okay. Any other questions from anyone? Srinivasan, Alok, Bridge, Bridge Kishore? Sir, uh, I'm a fresher uh, in this area, sir. I'm basically from mechanical background. Mm -hmm. So, is there any chance for me to grow my career in uh, Android development, sir? If you can guide so me. Your background is a diploma mechanical. Mechanical, B-Tech mechanical, sir. Oh, okay. If you have a graduation, no problem on that. So, like what happens here, like you don't have, you, as of now, you does not have any idea on the program it, programs. Yes, like, yes, sir. Uh, yes, so, sir. initially, like you need to spend a little bit uh, time on this so that uh, it will uh work out means initial like uh, even after course like means what happens here every class end i'll give you that uh task also and whatever the programs i discussed i'll share with you people like i'll uh, upload in a google drive i'll give the link also i'll give the task if you practice those other things definitely you will get on into that environment but uh, compared to the other people like you need to work out extra 40 to 50 percent of extra efforts you need to put in general Okay, sir. I will do so. Any projects? If yes, what are the how long? Like the uh, alloc here uh, within a course time exactly. Uh, it cannot time cannot uh, allow to create a project here. But here, what are the advanced topics? While discussing about the advanced topic, I'll create a uh, as a project one one program. I create as a project, and that continuously I'll work for the one week to ten days with the different topics i include in that so that will give the real-time project scope how the real-time project will work similar i'll create like uh, registration login if internet is not there how to handle 
how to manage the session and after that uh, your personalized data how you need to display the data of your personalized data so, so such kind of uh, <clears throat> in between like uh, uh, splash screen so the animations everything like these all combined like 10 to 15 different topics uh, together i'll make as a single project like that one so that can be help for you people to create a real time project right hope it is clear so any other question from anyone do we need to learn java and kotlin or only like no need to worry java if you uh, like if you know uh, java development it is okay but no need to work out on both because nowadays latest almost in the latest uh, companies latest project which is the project is starting with everyone is starting with the coding if we learn coding it is enough what is the course and the course duration is the 45 days in between of the 45 to 50 days it will complete and the course fees is the 10,000 Right, hope it is clear to everyone. Any other questions from anyone? Okay, guys, then uh, I think you already received a message. So on Tuesday, 7 a.m., there is a new batch is going to start that you can now. Uh, how proficient do you need to be in hotline before the uh, like if you if you know some concepts it is well and good if you don't know also no problem that everything i can cover with a uh, scratch from the scratch right yeah or have any questions okay guys if you don't have the questions, we will meet on Tuesday morning. Syllabus does not have Kotlin. No, no, whatever this uh, things I covered, all the things I'll explain in a Kotlin only. Like uh, whenever I'm explaining the Kotlin code, that there I'll explain you what is that, uh, how this Kotlin will work, that uh, in detail I'll explain there. Right, because Kotlin and also XML both are the new to you people. So I'll cover each and everything in detail from the scratch. Right. Any other questions? Okay, guys. Then uh, we will meet on Tuesday morning. Thank you. Thank you for joining.